Money. My future. Just breathe. Analyze and react without thinking. My health. First fear, then fear of the fear. Ground yourself. Being aware is the hardest part. Others' thoughts. Consume my thoughts. Where, Where do you feel the tension? The back of the neck. Legs. My throat. My face. And my neck. My heart. My heart beats really fast. My chest and my head. My chest. My chest. My hands and my chest. My chest will feel really tight and my hands will be shaking a lot. How do you describe your opinion? Question mark feeling. Question mark feeling. Anxious and sweaty. Being lost. Dissociation. Overstimulated and your brain being in overdrive. Uncertain. Inner turmoil, mind mischief. Inner turmoil. Like floating. Stagnant. Do you have a way to express your feelings? Feelings. Through music. By running. Through writing. My body will start shaking. Definitely zoning out. Crying. Playing music. I rub my head. Fashion expression. I express them through art. A lot of times I feel that verbally I can't get across what I'm thinking or how I'm feeling. And the only way that I can physically show anyone what I'm experiencing and what I'm dealing with is by physically splattering paint onto a canvas, smearing it with my hands, and drawing these disgusting, vile creatures. I feel a lot of times like my mind and my body, I compare them to dogs, like big, vicious dogs that are barking at each other and growling and snarling, very scary. But that's what I feel like on the inside when I'm experiencing anxiety, that question mark feeling. I think everything consumes my thoughts. When I'm feeling those ways, I get very caught up on certain things, but at the same time, every thought that I've had in the last month is pouring in and flooding my brain. Every emotion that I've had, every conversation that I've had, Everything that I've seen other people do, it just floods my brain. And I feel very chaotic and hectic. And overwhelmed. I think first it's a mental thing. And I think my the next thing that I'll start having discomfort in is my stomach, nausea, and then it goes to my chest, and my chest starts beating really fast, and it gets tight, and I feel like I can't breathe. I feel like I'm suffocating in my thoughts, so much so that the next step is going into panic and having a full-blown anxiety attack. Crying, 
rolling around. Just wanting to dissolve into a puddle. I tend to get consumed by my artwork when I'm creating something. Depending on the emotions going into the piece beforehand, sometimes I'm even more aware of my surroundings than before. But usually I get so consumed and swallowed up into each piece that I'm creating that I almost lose myself and lose a sense of my surroundings and sometimes what reality even is. I wouldn't wish the way that I feel upon my worst enemy. I would give that person a hug and I would tell them I would tell them that everything would be okay. I would tell them to dive deeper, find the source of pain, and embrace it. And I would tell them to keep fucking going. Usually going into a piece, I will be in a very chaotic state of mind, usually anxious or depressed or maybe even the opposite of that, be extremely happy and excited about life. And throughout the process, I feel every emotion that there is. Um, and I think that's one of my favorite things about creating art, is all of the feelings that I get from doing it. And afterwards, I'm left with a physical copy of all of those thoughts and experiences and emotions that I had while creating before and after. Since I was, I would say, six maybe, that's when my parents put me in piano lessons. But I only did lessons for eight months. After that, it was just something I stuck with because I loved it and it made me feel better every time. It's just the question of what I'm gonna do next. I'm, I'm, I'm very much a long-term thinker. I like to know what's gonna happen. And whenever I'm in a moment where I don't know what's gonna happen, the voice in my head is very adamant about figuring that out. So I would definitely just say it's a constant, constant plan for the future. I think that is my greatest weapon, is my voice. And that is the first thing that is impaired whenever I'm not feeling like myself, and whenever things are crazy, it's definitely the first thing to go. The first word that comes to mind, honestly, would be anger, a little bit. I'm most affected when I feel frustrated. And I think when I don't understand something, so when I have a question mark feeling, that my first reaction is always just frustration. When I was little, I would have to go outside and I would pick up rocks and throw them against the fence as hard as I could. Otherwise, I was just, I would, it was too destructive. Sometimes before I, if I'm expressing myself because I feel like I have to, usually the last emotion that I feel 
the heaviest before I sit down and start creating is loneliness. I feel very aware of the fact that it really just is me out here. And I am the only person that I can truly and 100% of the time go back to. And I know for that person, music is what she wants to do. So that's why my first answer in those moments of loneliness is to make music. And then when I'm making music, it doesn't matter anymore. It, it's almost like the awareness of being so lonely kind of just seeps into everything else. And all there is is just the sounds of whatever I'm doing instead of the sound of my own voice kind of trying to figure out what the hell's going on after it's just better you know sometimes it's not obviously but I would say most of the time music is medicine for whatever I need it to be medicine for This is such a good question. Sometimes I think the surroundings that I'm creating in can kind of feed my energy. So if I'm making music with my friends and I have their energy and my energy going into whatever we're doing, that's such a beautiful thing, you know? But at the same time, it's just us in those moments. Everything else disappears, other than whatever I'm taking energy from to do what I'm doing. So sometimes it really is just my own energy, and that is when it's just me, like, in the void, almost. Stop trying to figure it out. Because sometimes, sometimes trying to figure it out is the problem in the first place. It's the reason you're feeling all of these things. And the moment you stop trying to figure it out, you kind of can realize that everything was fine. You just kind of thought something was wrong. So you freaked out. And the moment you started freaking out, you're like, okay, it's not so bad. That's what happens to me a lot of days. I find that. I spend so much time trying to dissect a problem that when I get to the bottom of it, I'm like, why did I think this was such a problem? This was so unnecessary. I know a lot of people don't overthink the same way I overthink, but that is what I would say. How do you feel <laughs> after that? What's up? I feel light, like light on my feet, like yeah. weights. I like that. I feel like I like answered questions that I didn't know I had uh -huh. to, for myself. Does that make sense? Yes. Like Absolutely. I feel like just... I make more sense to me because I was just like, I looked at the questions when you sent them to me, but the m more you guys were talking about it, the more I was realizing like, okay, this is really just gonna be like, whatever I say is the answer. Mm -hmm. Like if I'm thinking about it, that's probably not the answer. 